Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Oakley Terrigal sunglasses. But first, love thing today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 51 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. And this is the standard and only lens size that Oakley makes of these sunglasses glasses so they're not produced in a larger or a smaller lens size, you're going to be stuck here with the 51 millimeter lenses. Uh, but that's a really good uh, size for a round pair of frames. It's going to fit everybody really good. They also do have these spring hinges and you can see here they're going to bend out a ton and give a custom fit to the face and they are very, very comfortable on my face uh, right out of the box here. Really, really nice. And uh, I do like the way they kind of just hug the face uh, really well. And even if I had a bigger head, it's still not putting a ton of pressure here on my fingers. Uh, so it's not going to be uh, tight on the face, even if you have a much larger head than mine. Just very, very comfortable right out of the box. You're not going to have to make any adjustments to these frames. Now, these frames also have fully adjustable nose rests. So you can actually bend these out and give them a custom fit to the face. And that's going to add for comfort, but it also adds for styling as well. So you can actually customize these nose rests to where the frames a lower or higher on the face depending on your personal preference and how you want them to frame your face and how you want the lens to sit uh, with your eyebrows, which is really nice. Uh, right now I'm wearing these frames, how they were adjusted right out of the box. I haven't messed with them at all. So this is how they're gonna look right out of the box if you don't wanna mess with the nose rest or anything like that. Now, as far as the exact core way that I'm wearing today's video, these have Oakley's Prism Tungsten lenses and then their satin toast frames. That's definitely a weird uh, term, but I do like the look of these satin toast uh, frames. They look really, really nice, and I really do like this temple design. It's really kind of out there and, and definitely uh, adds a lot of styling uh, to them as well. It looks really good behind the ear. Now we can also see that these ear rests are completely, well, basically completely straight and they sit flat on the ear. And uh, normally that would be a problem because uh, if you move your head down, they're gonna fall off, but these definitely do not do that because their spring hinges definitely hug the face really well. And they also have Oakley's proprietary unobtaining material here on the ear rest. This material actually is going to get stickier uh, the sweatier you get, and they're pretty sticky right out of the box. Uh, so really, really nice there. They're not gonna slip on the face even if you are uh, perspirating. They're gonna stay behind the ear, really, really nice. But this material also does a good job of not pulling your hair. You know, sometimes the sticky material is gonna kind of pull your hair. These definitely don't, and it doesn't, you know, pull or tear your hair or anything like that. Uh, so I do really like this material, and it is very comfortable. Now, as far as weight goes, these frames come in at 32 grams, so definitely kind of heavy, considering the fact that they do have polycarbonate lenses. Uh, but basically, I could definitely wear these frames all day long without any discomfort. Uh, they are still very comfortable, but they do have a, a decent amount of weight to them because uh, the frames are built really solidly. Now, as far as uh, the frame material goes, these are made out of a C5 uh, metal material, so they are very, very strong and robust. These are not titanium, but they are still very, very strong and, and I'm putting a lot of pressure here and, and I'm not really bending it at all. So very, very durable and strong frames uh, on this pair of sunglasses. I definitely don't feel like they're going to break very easily, uh, which is really nice. Uh, now, as far as the lenses go, these are Oakley's non-polarized uh, prism tungsten lenses, like I mentioned earlier. And as far as light transmission, these have a light transmission rate of 14%. And the base color here is bronze, so they're going to help increase the kind of contrast and clarity of the outside world. And I do really like these. When you pop these on, everything kind of just pops and, and looks really nice uh, through them. Similar to Maui Gym, I do definitely like these lenses. Now these are a non-polarized lens and I actually do prefer non-polarized lenses. And they're going to run you uh, $221 uh, with non-polarized lenses. But if you want to pick up a pair with polarized lenses, it's going to run you $271. So these frames are definitely pretty expensive uh, with the polarized lens option. They're definitely not cheap, uh, but the build quality here is pretty decent. 
Uh, now, as far as styling goes, if we take a look here at the top right corner of the lens, we can see a little Prism logo there, and then the outside corners, we can see a little Oakley O logo, but it's very subtle and nice. It's not too loud. And this allows the frames to kind of speak for themselves more than having big gaudy logos on them, which I also really do like. And because of that, I think they kind of look uh, kind of just fun and, and almost classy, just kind of like really stylish and uh, not so try-hardy with the, you know, Oakley logoing all over the frame. So I definitely do appreciate that with the frames as well. I also do like this mirror finish here on the lens. It really reflects the outside world a lot, uh, which is definitely also a really cool look. Now, if we take a look at the inner right temple of the frames, we can see they do say uh, Terry Go, and then the inner left, we can see the exact uh, model number and all that good stuff, but we are missing a made in logo. So it doesn't say made in China, made in USA, made in Italy, anything like that. There is no logo on these frames. Uh, typically on the box, if it has the original uh, manufacturer label, it will say where it is made. But this one is available on our website for a discounted price off the original MSRP, and we don't have that original logo. So I'm not sure where these frames are made. And personally, I think it's a real shame that Oakley isn't making all their uh, sunglasses in USA anymore. Uh, and they're making more and more frames in Brazil and in China. Uh, definitely disappointing. But I have to say the build quality here is really good. I don't see any flaws. The quality control is really, really good. Everything looks very, very good right out of the box. Uh, so there's nothing to give me an indication that these frames are made cheaply. And when it comes to manufacturing Oakley sunglasses and a lot of sunglasses in general, if a lot of the uh, harder to produce uh, parts of these frames are made in China and then they actually finish out the frames in America or in Italy, uh, where they spend more attention to detail and, and polish the frames, you can basically uh, get rid of any manufacturing flaws uh, as far as their raw material goes. Uh, so whether they're milling out the frame, the metal frames, or stamping them out, or doing whatever, when it comes to that part of the manufacturing process, the person who's finishing these frames can basically fix any flaw that is in the frames uh, before it goes into market. And because of that, uh, frames like these that are probably mostly manufactured in China still turn out really, really, really nicely, uh, which, you know, at the end of the day, that's kind of what we're looking for in a pair of sunglasses for them to be basically flawless when we're buying them, and these definitely are. Uh, now, as far as as a coverage from sun goes, because they have these round lenses, of course, they're not going to offer very good coverage from sun. Uh, so here up top, so we can see there's a massive gap that lets sunlight in and protected. And then here on the side, again, there's a massive gap that does let sunlight in and protected. Uh, so not the most practical pair of frames, but that's the way it's going to be with every single pair of round sunglasses. I guess if they don't have side shields, which of course these don't have. Uh, now, as far as pricing goes, like I said, these are going to run you $221 directly from Oakley's website, and I'm going to leave a link in the description down below uh, to their website if you want to pick these up, and they come in a ton of other really fun colorways. We also do have a couple of these on our website for a substantial, substantial discount off the original MSRP. Uh, so if you're looking to get a pair of these frames on the cheap, uh, definitely make sure to check out shadereviewstore.com. And uh, yeah, overall, a decent looking pair of frames that are very, very interesting. The build quality here definitely really surprised me, but I guess it shouldn't surprise me too much because the MSRP is very expensive. You know, $271 with polarized lenses and $220 with non-polarized is very expensive for a pair of Oakley frames. Uh, so, so it really shouldn't surprise me that the build quality here is really good. Uh, but definitely a very decent pair of frames. Uh, let me know what you think about this pair of sunglasses in the comment section down below. Do you own a pair uh, or do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know in the comment section down below and we can start a conversation there. But that's all good for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.